Uh, and we did the first patient in the UK back in the 16th of March 2022 this year. So there's a lot of uh, sort of publicity around it uh, for, for the wrong reasons. So I was talking to one of the journalists at the, uh, what's it called, Daily Mail on Sunday. So for the for the native speakers, Tovima Tiskiriakis had an article on it and I say, a little kind of sponge that holds me for surgery. And then I went back to Steve and Adam and said, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is surgery. And so anyway, yeah, so be careful when you talk to journalists and how you, you, uh, you phrase our things. All I'm saying is that it can delay the need for trabeculectomy and traditional filtration surgery. And he came up with this article. So our first case is an 86 year old uh, uh, lady, very kind lady. And so she had a right eye done, uh, mild to moderate glaucoma. So it was just uh, progressing towards a moderate stage of the disease. Uh, with a very lot of progression, um, and uh, she was a clopidogrel girl from uh, because of um, systemic ischemia reasons. So the presentation referral to my service, the pressure was 18 millimeters of mercury, so very low, uh, with a thin cornea though, and she was already on three agents. So we opted. Um, so we discussed various treatment mod modalities. She was a good candidate, big angle, um, as uh, for her operation. That was my, my first one actually. So um, so the way. The way to do it is a 2.2 millimeter incision on the cornea, surgeon sitting on the side of the patient, temporal approach. So aiming for the nasal angle, so uh, supranasal angle uh, in that scenario. So, and use your transverse gonio lens uh, going in, a uh, modified Schweigen uh, Jacob lens, uh, and then you advance your introducer, which is a stiff material, or Carlson and uh, Antonio beautifully described. So you, you're aiming to the angle. So the, the, what, you, what you want to do here, and it's apologies for them, for the illumination settings here, I'm not sure it's projecting well. So what you what you want to do is uh, so you approach the superior aspect of your iris root. So uh, the key element here is to try and cuddle the posterior surface of your sclera rather than pushing the iris back. So use your sclera as a fulcrum and as your guide, and then uh, advance the, the implant. You've got the green ring, which is a landmark, very important. Uh, and you want to align this with the posterior surface of the sclerospur. spur. So once you think you're in the right place, um, then you start withdrawing them, the introducer itself, and you will see the green ring emerging from it. So there it is. All right, so once you're happy with it, it's a tiny bit of heme coming out, and uh, that's a fairly good position. I was happy, happy for the first implant to go like this, and that's the final outcome of it. Uh, so this uh, lady achieved um, uh, still good, good visual acuity, stopped all glucometers for now, obviously it's early post-operative period, so free agents gone. Um, and uh, day one we got a pressure uh, of uh, 10, remember it was a sort of a low starting pressure, then week one 14, uh, month one maintained the effect, still on all glucometer drops, and then when I last saw her two months later, she's got a 33% reduction from a low baseline IOP, she's happy off drops, she's asking for the second eye to be done with the same technique.